Nice to have you with us. You at home could win more than $10,000 this week as your favorite game show host plays Scrabble. And one of them is a five-letter word. The clue is he's far from mesh. Lady Park! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. Scrabble! And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Alrighty, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Scrabble. I want to. Uh, this is our game show host. This is going to be a lot of fun. We got hosts from all over the place, all the different game shows, and uh, we're really excited because uh, some of your favorite hosts are here with us this week. Now they're not going to be hosting; they're going to be playing. And before I go on, there's someone I want you to meet. He's the host of a popular kids' game show. It's Double Dare, and it's Mark Summers. Mark, yeah. where are you, Mark? Now, uh, you're here because you're going to be over there. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and when you're yeah. there, I'm here. Everybody's gunning for me this week, and might well they should. You'll yeah. do great. So Mark's going to be uh, obviously filling in for me uh, while I play the game, and uh, I'll let you go right now, and we'll get on with it. Thanks, Thanks. Mark. It's good to see you see here. See you just a bit. All righty. Charlie's going to introduce our first two hosts, and here they are. Charlie? He bottled underwear for Sears. He was a watchwinder in Olean, New York. The host of Hollywood Squares, John Davidson. And the host of Fresh Your Luck, Peter Tamarkin. All right. Hi, John. Hi, Chuck. How are you? I'm fine. You know, John, I, I goes back to... I goes back to? <laughs> it goes back. Yeah? It goes back to when I was in high school or college. You did a, you did a Walt Disney film years and years ago. You had the Happiest an Millionaire. Actor. That's right. And how old were you when you did that? Oh, 16? Yeah, you were really young. No, we're, no, Because we're no. about the same age, I think. Did you think. play a puppy? The, no, I played, I, I played uh, the young leading man. I fell in love with Leslie Warren, and yeah. uh, that was after the underwear. Uh, I remember that. I that was a few years back, though, and I can remember that. Now, here we are on the same stage. Of course, you and I are friends. We've been friends for a long time. Yes. I even got to do your talk show once. John's had a talk show. You've been on... God, the I've network. tried He's everything. Christmas Just specials see. on NBC. You guys yes. reunite. He's got a no, no, career. Peter, stay. No, we'll stay, talk Peter. About I'll you. get to you. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to have you here, John. Thanks. Really sure to you. Thanks. I've yeah. admired you for years. <laughs> okay. Hi, Peter. I don't like you, Chuck. I never did. <laughs> well, no, you don't want to. Listen. <laughs> get in line. <laughs> Peter's done Press Your Luck. You've done a lot of other shows, too. Give us a little bit about well, yourself. Well, I, so I did Hitman for NBC Hitman. this place. That's right. And uh, we've got one at, uh, at Paramount. We did it some going out in syndication. And we're just having so much fun. <laughs> it's nice to have both of you here. We're going to have Thanks. a lot of fun this week, even though we keep saying that. Now, what we've done here, so we've, had a, we've asked our viewers to send in postcards. Uh, and uh, names were drawn at random by NBC Compliances and Practices. And uh, they kept the names secret. Each of you has an envelope, of course. You guys have an envelope up there. And uh, if one of you wins, then we're going to open that envelope and find out who won. But who won the toss backstage? Uh, I did. Okay, let's go to the board, John. We're going to play Scrabble. We're going to play until somebody gets three words right, and then that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance at the bonus sprint worth $10,000 Oh, today. no! Oh, yeah. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter N. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is, it was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. It was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. We'll take a ten, Chuck, and we'll take a three, a four. Just jumps right in there. I like that. A and an N. Which would you like? Uh, I'll take the N, Chuck. All righty. It was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. Oh, he produced and directed the film. Orson, uh, uh, I'll uh, take the A, Chuck. Okay, you've got to think of it in a different direction. Now, don't forget all these things. It was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. 
Oh, rolls. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, rolls. <laughs> I mean, not like a bagel or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the nine <laughs> and the three. Have an R and an S. Uh, take the S, Chuck. Oops. Nope, that stopper goes over to you, Peter. It was oh. one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. Okay, I get to pick one of these. Take, uh, take one of them, yes. Does it bother you if I just toss it right out? Won't Probably work. Do that. Okay, I'll take a one. <laughs> oh, no, just one. R and an L. You R have to choose from. Which would you like? R and an L. Let me have the R. Chuck. Second stopper back to John. Oh, it was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. Take a tile, John. Take a tile. Eight. Back in business. I'll take the eight. You can choose between the O and the L. Oh, ooch. Uh, two down. Uh, I'll take the L. That's all three. You know what it is, Peter? Uh, have any I idea? Should, I should have some brains, but... Let's uh, play speed word. Put your hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you. It was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. Ready? Ready. Go. It was one of Orson Welles' favorite roles. <laughs> Peter. Cinnamon. cinnamon. That's yeah. exactly right. It was cinnamon. Yeah, you got to do, John. Just this. little lady. Locked I you out. I hate it when that happens. He locked you out. <laughs> Come on, John, back Very to the nice. board. Building right. on the letter A and cinnamon, seven letters in the word. The clue is, Tammy Baker puts it on with a trowel. No one is safe. You understand that wow. on this show. So Tammy show. Baker puts it on with a trowel. It's too obvious if it's... Okay, no, it couldn't be that. Okay, I'll take the nine and the one. A P and an R. I'll take the P, Chuck. First position in the word, Tammy Baker puts it on with a trowel. Yes, sir, I'll take the R. Last position. She puts it on with second. a trowel. Uh, but you look good, John. I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll take the eight. She's picking on us. I'll take, I know you take the eight. Wait, wait till Chuck gets over here. Yeah, I'll take I, the no, I can't wait. I know, it'll be a little different. T and an S. I'll take the T, Chuck. Okay. Tammy Baker puts it on with a trowel. Any help? Oh. Try the S. Maybe that'll work. Uh... I'll try the S, Chuck. $500. Now's the time to do it, John. Tammy Baker puts it on with a trowel. Yes, say it. Uh, p p uh, <laughs> plaster. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I knew you'd get it. One, two, oh, I'm three, you do this on four, TV. five. Now it's yours. Ah, thank you, sir. All right. It's all tied up two to two. Here we go. Back to the board. No, we're not. We're going to go back to the board, but we're going to play speed word for the rest of the round. I've given you all the rules, so you know how to play. Here we go. Building on the letter E and plaster, nine letter, letters in the word. The clue is, some of them have a son-in-law. Some of them have a son-in-law. Ready? Ready. Go. Some of them have a son-in-law. Uh, uh, uh. Some of them have a son-in-law. Uh, yeah. John. <laughs> John. Attorney. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Oh, John, he and the money. One, Whoa. two, Whoa. three, four, I can't five, stand it. six, seven. Eight, nine, one thousand. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You need it. No, I'm playing for that game Okay, Peter, you're still in there. John's going for the game. You're trying to tie it up. Back to the board. Still in speed word. Building on the letter A in attorneys. Five letters in the word. And the clue is, you can pick it up in a bar. You can pick it up in a bar. Ready? Go. You can pick it up in a bar. <laughs> Peter. Candy? That's right. Candy bar. It's all tied up. Anybody's game. Here we go, guys. Yeah. Building on the letter D in candy. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is it's thicker than water. It's thicker than water. Ready? Go. It's thicker than water. John. Uh, puddles. Well, no, that's water actually with mud in it, but I guess, well, it doesn't necessarily, no, it's wrong. <laughs> John, you're out. Put your hands behind your back. Uh -huh. Peter, you want to continue or do you want to answer? I'll answer it. Pudding. That's right, it's pudding. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got it. Golly. Oh, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> John. All right. John. Yes. This is going to be a long week. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. What, you what got did we one, do? $1,500 as yes. a loser. Uh, your winner gets the microwave oven. Open up your uh, your envelope. Right. Let's see who at home gets that microwave Peter's oven. Peter's envelope is blue. Oh, Why nice is mine stuff. pink? I don't want to well, see who it is. <laughs> I was playing, Chuck, for Teresa Alexander of Georgiana, Alabama. All right, Teresa, you get $1,500 in a microwave. That's not too shabby for watching TV. Thank you, John. We'll see you a little bit later. And Peter, yes. if you'll come down and join me, please. Go get him, Peter. Peter has uh, $500 for the game. Uh,
nothing else, but he's got a chance for $1,000 coming up here. I went to and, college. Yeah, believe it or not. You don't want him to open this now? Oh, that's right. He's still got to go for Sprint. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Okie dokie, we're back here. Uh, thank you, Charlie. Peter Tamarkin's our champion, and uh, Mark Summers is going to take it away from me now because I've got to go hide. I'm next up. See you in a little bit. Good luck. Good luck Thanks, Chuck. Uh, Chuck, got about 150 <laughs> feet here. <laughs> okay, Peter, you just won $500 in our crossword, and you're about to establish a sprint time for our home viewer. Before we do that, we have to find out who your home viewer is, so why don't you Let's open up that envelope? Find out. Let's see. See who you're playing for. Brandon Tartikoff. No, 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 couldn't no. be. <laughs> Heck, anything's possible. Helen Pearson of Spartanburg, South Carolina. All Helen, right. it's you and me till the end. You and Helen. Peter, you're going to establish a time. The winner of our next crossword will come up here and try to beat that time. You're going to play mm -hmm. four words. Got to remember to hit that plunger, and all these letters are good. There are no stoppers. Okay, I believe you. Good luck. Here we go. First word has six letters in it. The clue is a stick in the mud. A stick in the mud. Ready? Ready. Go. G. A stick in the mud. Uh, I. Uh, N. A stick in the mud. Uh, L. Uh, P. A stick in the mud. <laughs> yeah. Piling. Piling is right. Boy, okay. 9.3 seconds on that first word. Second word has seven letters. Some kids mine theirs all the time. Some kids mines, mine theirs all the time. Ready? Ready? Go. Uh, N. M. Some kids mine theirs all the time. Uh, e. Uh, yes. Manners. You are right. Good job. Okay, 16.1 seconds, two words to go, Peter. Eight letters in the next word. The clue is, they're big on certain houses. They're big on certain houses. Ready? Ready. Go. A. They're big on certain houses. Uh, y. Uh, P. They're big on certain houses. Uh, M. Yes, payment. You are right. Okay. Good time so far. 23.3 seconds, Peter. Final word for you. Nine letters in the word. It's outstanding in water. It's outstanding in water. Ready? Yes. Go. Uh, R. It's outstanding in water. G. T. It's outstanding in water. Uh, L. R. It's outstanding in water. Yes. Gibraltar. You are right. Good All job. Right. 32.4 seconds. Terrific. All right. We're going to come back and see how Chuck does. We'll be back with more Scrabble right after this. <laughs> Okay, Peter, you just won uh, $500 for Helen Pearson. Could went up to $10,000. Wow. A little bit later. A lot so of pressure. We'll check back with you just I, a few I can't. Months. I can't host. Chuck's gone. Chuck's gone, and uh, we're going to hear from him in just a well, few I'll, seconds. Uh, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll brush up. I'll be back. Play the home game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, let, let's meet two new players. Okay, Charlie? Chuck was a truck driver. Jamie was a grocery clerk in Sam Ferris Meat Market in Toledo, Ohio. The host of Scrabble, Chuck Woolery. And the host of the new Double Up, Jamie Farr. Yeah, Jamie. Thank you, Chuck. Jamie. How do you like it so far, it. Mark? Uh, I'm doing <laughs> fine. I want to know how it feels uh, on the other side. It's really strange. I have to admit, I have a, I've developed a new respect for our players, and I haven't even played yet. Now, I've gained a respect for you here, too, believe me. Now, tell me about this meat market in Toledo, Ohio. Never mind that. Okay. No, you really I'm not really a game show host, you know. I mean, I'm on the fringe, and I haven't earned my blazer yet. <laughs> That's so right. Later on, I'll get that. No blue you know, coat it just yet. It must be tough for Chuck Woolery and people at home to watch this to really, when he plays against a guy like me, to find out how really ugly Chuck Woolery is. <laughs> yeah. Who won the toss backstage? I don't know. He did. Oh, I won. Yeah, you oh, you won. Yeah. I forgot. How quickly did you forget? Sure. All right. Game is fixed. Already. Let's get started. Did, We're going to be building on the letter A. There are nine letters in the word. The clue is, after 40 days, Noah was knee-deep in it. <laughs> <laughs> is that the producer of the show? <laughs> after 40 days, Noah was knee-deep in it. All right, Chuck, we have nine letters. Yes. Rainwater. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. <laughs> No, Jamie. It's all it could really. have been. It's all it could have been. It's all it That is a great way to start this game. That's spectacular. All right. All one over there for you. Now, Jamie, uh, we'll start things off with you now. <laughs> Building on the letter A in Rainwater. Seven letters in the He's word. He's smart, too. That's what... The clue, Jamie, is you see a lot of athletic supporters there. <laughs> all right. If you get it right now, it's $500. Can you tell me? Oh, 
Oh, you can get this. Come on, Jamie. All right, I'll see just try it. Yes, baseball. Baseball is incorrect. All right, goes over to you, Chuck. You see a lot of athletic supporters there. The Take nine. The All right. <laughs> we'll pick and up I'll the take the seven. Davidson and uh, the other K? guy ate up. And a K. And a K. Let me have the K. All right. You, you see, a, see lot a lot of athletic supporters there. Right. Let me have the A. All right. You see a lot of athletic supporters there. Gee, I don't know. Two Six. more tiles. Six. He just and keeps going, huh? Three. He does. <laughs> He'll get back to you. Have an please. M and an L. M and an L. Let me have the M. All right, first stopper, <laughs> over to you, Jamie. You mm, see a lot of athletic you. supporters there. Sure. Pick a tile for me, will you? Uh, okay, I'll take, uh, I'll take this one, number five. Okay. I've got a possible $1,000. Oh, and there, an L. Too. The L. See a lot of athletic I supporters there. Okay, I, this is terrible because I'm going to get shot down right now. Give me the uh, O. The O, no, okay. I think that's good. You see a lot of athletic oh, uh, supporters there. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, go ahead. Oakland. Oakland is correct. Yeah. All right. Of course, there's only one. You, you, yeah, 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 yeah. you could have gone for that bonus yeah, tile. Yeah, the baseball was Yeah, with two right. stoppers yeah, out. Toledo yeah, Mud Hens, right? Yeah, Toledo Mud Hens. There you okay. go. Okay. Club to... All right, we're going uh, into Speed Word. That's obviously what that having means. far too much fun here. This game will have to be played out in Speed Word. So okay. put your hands on your buzzers, and we'll put the letters in place one at a time. We don't give you that last letter. We're going to be building on the letter A in Oakland. There are nine letters in the word. The clue is some of them have cuffs on them. Some of them have cuffs on them. Ready? Go. Some of them have cuffs on them. Jamie. Oh, you scared me. That's me. Gangsters. <laughs> you are right. Yeah. Gangsters. Nice job. <clears throat> Building on the letter E in gangsters. Six letters in the word. The clue is love has a lot to do with it. Love has a lot to do with it. Ready? Go. Love has a lot to do with it. Love has a lot to do with it. Can't give you the last letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jamie. I have no idea. Dennis, and he's a oh, tennis Dennis, That's right, and he's won the game. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at, I'm looking at me, too. I couldn't figure it out to save my life. <laughs> well, what okay, do you think, Chuck? Coach? Did I do well? I got one right. Chuck, you want a microwave uh, oven for your home player? Why don't you open up your envelope and find out who that is? I swear I didn't throw this this person who I'm playing for. I promise. I did the best no, I could. No, you started off great. Oh, my gosh. From my, home, from, uh, my state, anyway. Sylvia Purcell from Jefferson Town, Kentucky. No money, but you got a microwave. All right, congratulations. And we're going to be seeing you a little bit later, Chuck. Come on down here, Jamie. Bring, bring, my envelope. bring your envelope down here. All right, you won $500. Congratulations. Way to go. Okay, we're going to be right back, and we're going to find out how you're going to do in these Scrabble Springs. I'm back, and Peter Tamarkin's playing for Helen Pearson. He has five hundred dollars. Established the time at thirty-two point four. Jamie Farr is going to be playing for you. Got five hundred. You look my just dollar. like the guy I played with over yeah, there. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who are you playing for? You can take open uh, your envelope. Oh, do I get to open this now? <laughs> yeah. It's not Sarah because this mm. is Susan C. Alexander from uh, Pollard, Arkansas. Yes, Pollard, Pollard, Pollard Arkansas. Pollard. 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 Like that. Okay. okay. This is for $1,000. dollars going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what yeah. stops the clock. No stoppers in any of these words. Don't feel okay. any pressure, Jake. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. 32 points. Here we go. Ready? First word, six letters. A stick in the mud. Ready? Yeah. A stick in the mud. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to repeat. You don't have to uh, repeat. No, you don't yeah. have to. Okay. Ready? I'm not going to do it anymore then. <laughs> okay. Go. G. N. A stick in the mud. P. L. Stick in the mud. I. Uh, you can't give me the last one? A Say stick it. in the mud. I, I have no uh, idea what it is. Piling. I never heard that piling is a stick in the mud. <laughs> Where did you That's think other it was, We you don't think have those in Toledo. A piling? Sorry. Right. A stick in the it's, mud? It's only 19 seconds you got left. We can go on. All right. Second word, seven letters. Piling. Some kids mind theirs all the time. Some kids mind theirs all the time. Ready? Manners. That's exactly right. Next word. Whoa. That's the way to do it. Eight letters. Kids do piling. Now think about this one. You might get All right. Better. Okay. Eight letters. Right. They're big on certain houses. They're big on certain houses. Any idea? Chimneys. Cost you ten seconds. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sarah? She doesn't care either. Oh, okay. She's gonna send it. Nine away. seconds. They're big on certain houses. All Ready? Right. Yeah. Go. M. N. 
P. They're big on certain houses. Y. T. Payment. That's correct. You have one tenth of a second left. I'll get it. Nine letters. It's outstanding in water. It's outstanding in water. Ready? Ready? Uh, it's outstanding in water. Uh, You'll yeah, never get I never this. get this. Never. All right. Ready? Yeah. Go. Tell me. Lighthouse. Yes, that's right. Well, there you go. Oh, Peter from Marcus Kane. All right. And Jamie's going to be back, of course, but Peter and Susan Alexander will leave us now with $500. And uh, Peter Markin has 1500 Helen Pearson's got that money. He's going to be playing for Tony. Okay, Peter won the right to be here. He's playing for Helen Pearson. She's got $1,500. I'm going to put two words, or give you two words, 10 seconds on the clock. I have to do these before the 10 seconds is up. And it's kind of tough. I got you. Hope you get it. Okay, me too. Helen does too. First word, six letters. All right, six letters. A wake-up call. Wake-up call. Ready? Yeah. Go. L. Uh, L. A wake-up call. Uh, H. Uh, o. Right. Wake-up call. Oh, Holler! Sorry. Oh, yeah, that was tough. That was tough. <laughs> Jamie's laughing over there. I don't know why. Well, Helen, you got $1,500 in our thanks for watching the show. Hope you enjoy the money, and we'll all be back tomorrow. Thanks for joining us here today. Bye-bye. I'm going to host. We're going to walk with Some members of our studio audience and some departed contestants will receive Litton, a quality microwave oven with features designed to fit your lifestyle, furnished by Litton Microwave Cooking Products. And now professional salon nails you can do at home. New Lee Sculptured Nails. Quick, easy, permanent like salon nails. New Lee Sculptured Nails. Plus the new Pilotex Whirlpool Hot Spa releases tension with millions of warm, surging bubbles that massage your aching muscles. What a feeling. And Kentucky Fried Chicken. Try our new Chicken Little Sandwiches. They cost just a little, but people love them a lot. Only from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Plus, introducing nine new Swanson Homestyle Recipe Entrees. Convenient down-to-earth dishes that microwave in 10 minutes or less. When quality and value count, you can count on Swanson. And Ambush, the fragrance that wraps a woman in a sparkling aura. Ambush by Dana, a very special fragrance. Plus, Benaljo shoes combine fine art with exceptional comfort. These classically styled shoes are masterpieces from Benaljo. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Red Grundy production. You at home could win more than $10,000 this week as your favorite game show hosts play Scrabble. And one of them is an eight-letter word. The clue is he works with a bunch of squares. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flurry. All righty, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our show here on Scrabble. Some of your uh, favorite hosts are here with us this week. Uh, we had a lot of fun yesterday, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of fun today. I kind of started off great and ended up in a whimper. Charlie's going to introduce our first two hosts, and here they are. Bill was a cab driver. Tom was an elevator operator. The host of Card Sharks, Bill Rafferty. And the host of Name That Tune, Tom Kennedy. Yeah. Well, it's nice to have you both here. How are you, uh, Bill? I'm doing fine. I was amazed at you yesterday. I watched the show, and amazed. the first word out, no clues, rainwater. <laughs> so I yeah. did a little investigating, and this subpoena is for you, Chuck, because we <laughs> yes. feel Thank you. that there was You notice something... how I ended up, though. Jamie Parr took it right out of my <laughs> hands real quick. Yeah. It's nice to have you here, <laughs> Thank Bill. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Hey, Tom. Hey, Chuck. How One are you? of my old friends. I'm just yeah. fine. Tom, let me... I'll yeah, say a little bit, and you can say a little bit, because I've admired Tom for years on television. I really have. One well, of the... Uh, Two game show hosts that I kind of looked up to and everything, you and Bill Cullen, and uh, well, uh, I've great. always been a big, big fan of yours. I, really I appreciate that. It's a that. pleasure to have you on my stage for a change. One of the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Absolutely. <laughs> uh, 
I guess, uh, but, well, by the way, I want to mention to our viewers, we ask our viewers to send uh, in postcards, and their names were drawn at random by NBC and Compliances and Practices. Now, we've kept those names secret, and each of you has an envelope in front of you there, yes. and containing one of those names. Now, whatever uh, you win goes to that person at home, and that's the way it's going to work. Hey, yeah. Tom, let's go to the board. We're going to be building on the letter E, eight letters in the word. Going to play Scrabble until uh, three. You get three right. That's what I was supposed to say that first. <laughs> then that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. We'll have a chance. The bonus worth $10,000. Take a look at the board who we set up for our first game. Now we're building on the letter E, eight letters in the word. And the clue is he can't fill in the blanks. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't keep the ping blue bonus. He can't fill in the blanks. He can't fill in the blanks. Any idea? No, I don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Take a couple of tiles. All right. I'll take number one and uh, number nine. It's nervous working with all you guys. I mean, I got the best in the business here <laughs> with me. I'm falling apart. All right. A and a C. Yeah, let's take a look at the C, Chuck. Yep, worth five hundred dollars. A little early yet. He can't fill in the blanks. Mm hmm. Could I see the A, please? First position in the word. He can't fill in the blanks. <clears throat> Boy. Afraid not. Can I? Do I proceed? Sure. Keep All right. Number three and number four. F and an A. Can't fill in the blanks. Let's take a look at that F. Now, first off of uh, the day, and Bill, it's over to you. He can't right. fill in the blanks. Can't fill in the blanks. A couple of oh, tiles. It's like Karnak. <laughs> All right. Let's take well, number five. It goes in there. I and an A. I and an A. I'm going to go with the I. That works. Um, let's try the A. Okay. Let's see what happens with that. Well, that falls in there. Three in a row. He can't, can't fill in the blanks. I'm going to go for two more. Two and eight. N and a G. N which would you like? A G. Let me have the G, please. Good shape, Tom. Only one stopper Ooh. left. It's all yours. He can't fill in the blanks. Yeah. Have any idea? You want to take a tile? No, I think I better... No, I have no idea. Okay. I must take a title. It's not a matter of choice. <laughs> uh, N or an okay. M? I'll, I'll take the M. Okay. There you go. That's he can't fill in the blanks. Be. I'll try the N. Good idea. idea. <laughs> Moving right along. We've only got a half hour, Tom. Come Amnesia. On. That's right. Hit your buzzer. Oh. Amnesia. Building on the letter S and amnesia. Five letters in this word. And the clue is some guys tease women with them. Some guys tease women with this. <laughs> Not what you think, Bill. Go ahead. Take two tiles if you don't know it. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Uh, let me take six. And let me take one. H. And, and an R. Some guys tease women with this. Yes. Which one would you like? Uh, I'll try the H. Yeah, that's right, Tom. Some guys tease women with them. What do you want to do? I'm going to take a go, uh, go at it. Go for it. Home. That's exactly right. You never know what you might get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay, Bill. Well, we're going to be in speed word here real quick. We're, uh, put your hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters right. in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you. Okay. Uh, Bill's trying to get in the game. Tom's going for the game. <laughs> Building on the letter O and comb. It's okay, Bill. I say that to everybody. It's all right. <laughs> the clue is Custer often did it in the saddle. Where did you uh -oh. wrote these? Jan's at it again. Custer often did it in the saddle. Ready? No idea. Uh, go. Okay, let's sure. go. Custer often did it in the saddle. Custer up. Gallop. Yes, Tom, that's exactly right. Boy, you're just a second late. He locked you out. Yeah. You got to make that move real, real quick. Well, there's no bonus money to anybody in this particular round, but uh, Bill, I believe you have someone you've been playing with there. We got a camera uh, for them. I'd like to reveal the name of the person I'm now about to embarrass in front of all America. No, 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 don't feel that way. Uh, let's take a look and see who this is. I'm sorry, Claudia Fraser in Coco, Florida. Claudia Fraser got a 35 millimeter camera. That's not too shabby. Right. Thank you, Tom. Get out! I don't know. I tried. I'm just trying to worthy enough to play the game with Tom. <laughs> I tell you. I'm glad they didn't get me yesterday, I'll tell you that. Gee, me. Oh, okay, well, we're going to come right back and have Tom play Speedward, which is going to be a lot of fun for all of us. Oh, yeah. Yes. Tom Kennedy has $500. I want to introduce you to Mark Summers. Really, Mark's going to take my place. I have to run off because I want to play next time. Mark is the host of uh, Double Dare on Nickelodeon. He's taking my place today. Good luck, Mark. Thank, Thank you, Chuck. See you later. All right. Off and running. 
You just won $500, Tom. Congratulations. I don't know how that happened. Well, <laughs> because you're a smart man. Okay, uh, you won that in our crossword, and you're about to establish a sprint time for a home viewer. Why don't you yes, open sir. up that envelope and find out who that home viewer is? It would be my pleasure. It's a pink envelope. Does that indicate a uh, female? Not necessarily. It does in this case. Ruth A. Mahay, Chicago, Illinois. All right. So in Chicago. Ruth, good luck. And Tom, you're going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword will come up here and try to beat that hmm. time. We're going to play four words. Got to remember to hit that plunger. All these letters are good. There are no stoppers. Okay. Here we go. Five letters in the first word. The clue is a tight ship. A tight ship. Ready? Hmm. A tight ship. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Go. Okay. A tight ship. Yes. Kayak. Very good. Unbelievable. 2.9 seconds. Great time. Second word has seven letters in it. It can be an awful mix-up. It can be an awful mix-up. Ready? Uh, yeah. Go. Okay, uh, G. It can be an awful mix-up. Uh, U. S. It can be an awful mix-up. An awful mix-up. Uh, H. It can be an awful mix-up. Yes. Goulash. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> 14.8 seconds for two words, two more to go. Eight letters in the third word. Ooh. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Ready? Okay, yeah. Go. S. That's what it's all about. Uh, N. P. That's what it's all about. S. Uh, o. That's what it's all about. Uh, I. That's what it's all about. Yes. Synopsis. Yes. Tough oh. word. Yeah. That was a tough one. All right, fourth and final word for you. Nine letters in this one. All right. It goes out on strike. Nine letters. All right. It goes out on strike. Ready? Uh, yeah. Go. Uh, oh. Call a letter. G. It goes out on strike. It's not what I thought. I. H. It goes out on strike. Uh, T. Yes. Light bulb. No, incorrect. That Goes means there is a 10 second penalty and we will continue. Goes All right. It goes out on strike. Ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. And. Uh, oh. Yes. Lightning. There you go. Lightning. All right. 52.2 seconds. You don't know. It could be a good oh. time. We're going to come back and see how Chuck does against John Davidson right after this. Congratulations, Tom. You won uh, $500 for that nice lady in Chicago, Illinois. Ruth Mahay. That's right. And we're going to come back and see how well you do in just a few moments. Uh, go take a few moments off, relax, and uh, we're going to say hello to a couple of new contestants. All right. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. And Charlie, let's meet those two new hosts. Chuck was a truck driver. John modeled underwear for Sears. The host of Scrabble, Chuck Woolery. And the host of Hollywood Squares, John Davidson. <laughs> Good luck to you, John. After my episode yesterday, you're not going to need any luck. You oh, modeled you... underwear, is that true? That no, was John that modeled was John. underwear. I, huh? I, I, it was good because you didn't have to dress to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Right. I did it for Sears, actually, which and Sears now does the clothes on the show, so everything that comes around... Goes around, comes around. Yeah, so if we dig up an old Sears here. catalog, we might find your body there in some underwear. 1959, I'm in there in my BBD. <laughs> I get the picture. All right, let's get started here. We're going to be building on the... Oh, i got to find out who won the toss. I did. I Again, won okay, you won I the toss. Today. Of course. Building on the letter I, there are eight letters in the word. The clue is, some of them will come back to haunt you. Some of them will come back to haunt you. I don't know. Okay, pick two tiles. And an eight. X. X and an O. I'll show you what kind of guy I am. I'm going to try the X. <laughs> For a stopper. <laughs> All right. Jeez. And how does it feel to play this game? Well, <laughs> what? Over to you, John. Pick one tile yeah, if you want, please. Five. All right. We have an R and an O. Some R. of them will come back to haunt you. Uh, I'll take the R. <laughs> oh. oh Some of them will come back to haunt you. Uh, come try, try the O, o if you'd like. I'll try the O. Thanks, Chuck. Just, you're not hosting now. Just shut up. Uh, <laughs> two more times. I'll take uh, one and the two. Have a B and an M, okay? Uh -huh. Come back to haunt you. Try burrito. That might Shut work. up, Chuck. <laughs> I'll take uh, the M. Let's hear it for the, the M. stopper. Oh, oh second right. stopper. Back to you, Chuck. Some of them will come back to haunt you. Holy cow, let me try the B. All right, try it. Well, pick a tile. Got oh, to pick a yes, tile oh, bad. Let me try Learn the game. Tonight. That's right, man. has been playing the game for years. Fine. Let me try the B. Try the B. Some of them will come back to haunt you. 
Okay, it's worth five hundred dollars oh, if you can tell oh. me. Is it burrito? You are right. It is burrito. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you just try oh, it? Oh, that's very funny. $500. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. that's very... I had no idea. I had no idea. <laughs> Keep in mind that $500 is not for you, Chuck. It's for somebody you're playing for at home. Yep. You have one point. We're going over to John Davidson. We are building on the letter I in burritos. Six letters in the word. The clue is, it reflects badly on the Ayatollah. Okay. It reflects badly on the Ayatollah. I'm going to I, take, I'm take a shot. Okay. Is this, should I do this? It's up to you. Sure. you water. Water is what it. it is, even though it's spelled with an Mirror. I. Mirror is right. right. Nice there. job, John. Good job. Very nice. Job. All right, ties it up. One piece goes back to you this time, Chuck. Building on the letter O in mirror. Burrito. Eight letters. <laughs> Only works once in a game. Eight letters in the word. The clue is, <laughs> some men like to flash it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Some men like to flash. I don't know, so I'm going to take a nine. Okay. And a five. I have an R and an L. Let me try the L. Some men like to flash it. Try the R. Have any idea? No. Two Look more tiles. The ten and the two. Some men like to flash it. K and an A. Ooh, K. I don't like that. Let me try the A. Some men like to flash it, Chuck. Let me try the K. Try the K. No, it's good. Oh! Some men like to flash it. I swear I can't see this. A six. John's in pain over there. And a three. Some men like to flash it. A and a W. Let me try the W. Oh, okay. Good for you, Chucky. Baby. Yeah. No. Stopper, it goes over here to you. Now, oh, keep John, in mind, a uh, we have a there you tile there worth $1,000. No, you can guess. You can okay, we have an A and an L. An L. All oh, right, that. some men like to oh, flash it. Oh, that's how you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, I was trying to persuade to use the A. I All thought right, it two was points for John, the one over and there for terrible. Chuck. Chuck's trying. Okay, okay me. that one, sound one, means one, that we are going to be playing this game and the rest oh. of it in speed words. So put your hands okay. on your buzzers. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. We do not give you the last letter. We are building on the letter A in bankroll. Six letters in the word. The clue is, he has a white collar job. He has a white collar job. Ready? Go. He has a white collar job. John. Painter. Painter is incorrect. That's not okay. how Painter. Chuck. I'll just, uh, I'll continue to play. You're going to continue to play. Okay. Ready? Go. He has a white collar job. Can't give you the last one. He has a white collar <laughs> job. White collar job? Yes. Pantor. Pantor is incorrect. All these guys, you see them panting? They're all have white collars on. Just it's no Pastor. 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 Oh, Pastor. Okay. Well, P A S T O R. Okay, we are still in our uh, speed, speed round, word. and we are building on the letter R in Pastor. Seven letters in the word. The clue Pastor. is they can really ring your chimes. They can really ring your chimes. Ready? Go. They can really ring your chimes. They can really ring your chimes. John. Oh, Treason! Treason! Yes, Chuck! Way to go! Nice job! All right, it is tied two to two. Oh, right Anybody's game, one. the next word wins it. Building on the letter G. G. Eight letters in the word. The clue is an initial investment. An initial investment. Ready? Go. An initial investment. An initial investment. Chuck. Monogram. You are right. All right. Congratulations. I was into everything. I swear I was. All right. Congratulations, Chuck. And John, you have won uh, no money in the bonus, but uh, you've won a terrific camera. We'd like you to open up your envelope and find oh, out sure. who that camera yeah, is find for. Find out who that was, John. Yeah. Well, the lucky person who chose me. Dorothy Peterson, Aberdeen, Ohio. Okay, Hi. Dorothy, we're going to be sending you that, and John will be seeing you a little bit later. And Chuck, why don't you come on down here and bring your envelope with you? First of all, you got $500 on the bonus, oh. so that's one, two, three, four, five. $1,500 Not bad. Yeah, 1000 actually. It's oh, yeah. up there. We're going to be right back to play Scrabble Spring and see how you do against Tom. And now, back to Scrabble and Mark Summers.
Welcome back to Scrabble. We're about to finish up on our sprint round now, and Tom has set a time of 52.2 seconds. Hmm. And Chuck, you have, yeah, Chuck, Ooh, you have picked up $1,000 in our crossword, and let's find out who you're going to be playing for. 52.2. Why don't you open up your envelope and like see who you're playing for? All right, let me get this open here. Yes. Jacqueline D. Hubs from Cookville, Tennessee. All right, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Try to win you some money. Trying to win $1,000. We're going to play the same four words, Mind Chuck. You get your plunger. That's what stops clock. No stoppers. And words all over. Okay. Took sorry. the words right out of my mouth. Okay, here we go. Eight Five points. letters. First clue is a tight ship. All right. Go. Go. A tight ship. K. A. A. A tight ship. Y. A tight K. ship. K. Tank is left. Yes. Kayak. Kayak is right. Okay. 44.7 seconds remaining. Seven letters in the next word. It can be an awful mix-up. Ready. Go. S. It can be an awful mix-up. L. G. It can be an awful mix-up. H. It can be an awful mix-up. A. It can be an awful mix-up. Yes. Gulag. There you go. Okay. 35.3 seconds remaining. Two words left. Eight letters in the second or in the third word. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Ready? Ready. Go. N. S. That's what it's all about. S. Y. That's what it's all about. S. O. That's what it's all about. T. Yes. Synopsis. Synopsis. Okay. Yeah, hey, that's a... Thanks for all that time, Tom. <laughs> Holy cow. Fourth and final word. You have 23.7 seconds to accomplish it. There are nine letters in the word. The clue is, it goes out on strike. It goes out on strike. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go. It G. goes out on strike. H. G. It goes out on strike. I. L. It goes out on strike. Yes. Lightning. Lightning. Yeah. Nice yeah. job. You win. Yeah. 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 All right. Congratulations there, Chuck. All right, Tom, you have won $500 for Ruth Mahay in Chicago, Illinois. Congratulations. We'll be seeing you a little Thank bit you. later. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, you, uh, you can okay. hang out on this Don't leave. Okay, Chuck, you have won $1,000 in this round, $1,000 up front, so that's $2,000. Jacqueline, you're rich. And you're going to make a viewer perhaps $10,000 happier when we come back right after this to play. All right. All right. All right. All right. Back to today's winner, Chuck Woolery. I will never make fun of another contestant. This is tough. Well, I may make it? fun of a couple of them, but not many of them. <laughs> All right, you get a chance to win $10,000 for Jacqueline Hubs and Champ. How does that sound, Champ? <laughs> you know how this works. We're going to put 10 seconds on the clock. Your job is to guess two words before the clock hits zero. All okay. right. First word has six letters. The clue was he was a real zero. Now, what is the clue? That's the clue what it was. What really the clue is it? <laughs> The clue is... He was a real... He was a real zero. Zero. Let me think just a minute. Oh, gosh, I can't think. Uh, Six letters. He was a real zero. Mustel? Oh, my goodness. Yes! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Very nice. Okay, you Woo. still have ten seconds for the second word. Oh, baby. Seven letters in the word. They are playing... They're pulling for certain people. They are pulling... For certain people. They're pulling for certain people. Okay, go. Ready? Go. K. They're pulling for certain people. U. S. They're pulling for certain people. E. H. They're pulling for... Yes. Husky! All right, $10,000! Designed to give you the ultimate wet, dry, cleaning versatility in a compact, easy-to-use package. 
and new Wrinkle Free brand fabric collection. Brings away wrinkles without ironing. Wrinkle Free, what a neat idea. Plus, Vaseline Lip Therapy. It helps prevent chap lips. With regular use, you may never get chap lips again. And add a best effect to every meal with delicious royal gelatin and puddings. Great for salads and desserts. Make every day a royal day. Plus, Uncle Ben's long grain and wild rice. You can taste the good cook at Uncle Ben's wild rices. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All right, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Welcome to the show, everybody. And uh, some of your favorite hosts are here with us this week. Uh, Charlie's going to introduce... Oh, by the way, before I do that right now, I want to mention that Jacqueline Hubbs is a very lucky lady in Cookville, Tennessee. Yesterday, I was fortunate enough to win $12,000 for her. So you at home can win a bunch of money today. So uh, Charlie's going to introduce our first two hosts. Here they are. Tom was a soda jerk in the USO. Peter has a son at Harvard. The host of Name That Tune, Tom Kennedy. And the host of Press Your Luck, Peter Samartin. Well, it's our third day back together. Josh, I, I just kind of an accolade after accolade. Yes, it'd probably get embarrassing if I keep this up. But anyway. Ask me what I'm up to. What are you up to? <laughs> uh, I just did a pilot for a new show called Eavesdroppers. Oh, you did? So keep your fingers crossed. Oh, for so you got your ear to the door? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it works out to the for you. Really door, did. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we were hoping that that uh, might be... Uh, uh, taking off next year sometime. Yeah, well, I hope it does too, Tom. It's nice to have you back. Good Thank luck you. I'm today. having a ball here. It's hard, isn't it? It's tough when I'm up against you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's nice to have you here, Tom. Thank you. Hi, Peter. How are you, Chad? I'm fine. Peter and I are new friends. We had never That's met right. before, but we met today, or the last week, I should say, and uh, got somewhat of a friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Peter's had about 15 shots of me, and every one of them had landed <laughs> right on the not mark. True, Tell me, is there anything that you'd like to say? Uh, to well, you? I'd just like to find out where my son is at Harvard. I called, but after the show I was on, the first show... Well, you're not old enough I, to have a son at Harvard. Yes, but I called, and he changed his number. <laughs> He's trying to tell me something. Yeah, fine. Well, I don't blame him after what you've done to me. Anyway, we have both these guys here. They're great players. We're having a lot of fun. We ask our ready, and let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right, and that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance for that bonus worth ten thousand dollars. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter A, nine letters in the word, and the clue is some girls like to tie them up. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget to think of blue bonus squares. They're worth money. Okay. Now, who won the toss backstage? You did, Peter? Yeah. All right, you're first up. Some girls like to tie them up. All right. Um, let's take uh, one and six. We have an N. And we have an L. Which would you uh, like? Let me have the L, Chuck. Some girls like to tie them up. Uh, uh, let me have the N, Chuck. Yep, some girls like to tie them up. All right, five and eleven. P and an R. Uh, like? Give me the P, Chuck. First position in the word. Some girls like to tie them up, Peter. Any idea? Let's try the R. Okay. No, that's a stopper. It's over to you, Tom. Some girls like to tie them up. Boy, I'm on the... Oh, I can't do it yet, so well, I will take... take a couple of tiles and yeah, put yourself uh, in Number business. ten yeah. and number four. Have an O and a T. Which would you like to try first? I think I know where that goes. So I'll try the O. There's your five hundred dollars for your home viewers. Ah, Some yeah, girls like yeah. to tie them up. A ponytail. That's right. Yeah. No, I was. I was on a sheep tail. I couldn't I, get off yeah, the I know. I know. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Somebody got five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Right okay, Peter. Let's see if you can get on the board here. Building on the letter O and ponytail, seven letters in the word. The clue is a nasty racketeer. Give you five hundred dollars if you can tell me what it is right now. That might be difficult, but you never know. A nasty racketeer. Uh, raccoon. No, that's not correct. So, Tom, it's over to you. You're counting a nasty racketeer. I'll give you five hundred dollars if you know it. Okay, McEnroe. That's exactly right. 
Mm, the nastiest racket here. Right it it's that surge of thrill when you just wipe out your best friend. You know the feeling. I know. One, guy who had two, three, four, five hundred. Thank you very much. Can I, uh, can I get Bill Rafferty to come in here and finish for me? <laughs> we've been doing it to each other all. That's it. No more oh. time. Well, we've been having so much fun. Yeah, but this is the time to this is the time to catch up. So oh, yeah. You can do this. That's what right. I was waiting for. I was holding right. back. Bell means we're out of time. We're going to play the rest of this game in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you. All right, Peter's trying to get in. Tom's going for the game. Building on the letter E in McEnroe, eight letters in the word. And the clue is, he carries a big stick. He carries a big stick. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. He carries a big stick. He carries... Shepherd. Peter. Shepherd. Shepherd, exactly uh, right. That's one. That Building on the letter E in Shepherd, six letters in this word. And the clue is, some of them are the refined type. Some of them are the refined type. Ready? Yeah. Go. Some of them are the refined type. Peter. Oil men. That's exactly right. Wow. It's all tied up in anybody's really? game. Boy, I was looking for sugar. Anybody's game. Ooh. Building on the letter O in oil men. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is, he was a tricky guy. He was a tricky guy. Go. He was a tricky guy. Tom Houdini. That's yeah. exactly right. We got it finally. Well, one out of three is not bad. It was enough to win it for you, Tom. Yeah, that was a tough yeah, contest. Congratulations. And Peter, uh, you didn't win any money, but there's a nice uh, bonus gift here. What did they win this time? I can't see it. AMFM Clubs. Get that player. So that's for your home viewer. Who have you got there? Yes, take the piece. M.H. Bill Clark, Long Beach, California. Well, right. Many money. Oh, Bill, just that uh, going out to you. And Peter, we'll see you in a little bit. And Tom, you're going to come down and join me. If you will, and bring your card with you. Right. Your envelope, your money. Gather up all the stuff. Tom ended up with uh, $1,000 in bonus, $500 for the game. Whoops, and I just knocked that out of your hand. We're going to come right back and play Travel Sprint and see this uh, first minute. Stand with Tom Kennedy, uh, and he has $1,500 for his home viewer. And in just a minute, he's going to play the crossword about to establish the sprint time for this person. Let's find out who we're playing for, Alrighty. Tom. I'm so nervous, and the winner is. <laughs> and the winner of that $1,500 is Mildred E. Lawrence of, hey, hey I mean, your I'm hometown, Louisville, Louisville Kentucky. 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 You've got a lot of Kentucky and Tennessee people. Yeah. Is, the South is watching, they got their eyes on it. Now, you're going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword will try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good, and here we go. All right. Good luck, Tom. Thank you, sir. First word has five letters. It can come in sheets. It can come in sheets. Ready? Uh, yeah. Go. C. S. It can come I. in sheets. Uh. Go ahead. Music. That's right. Second word, seven letters. A manner of speaking. A manner of speaking. Ready? Yes. Go. D. C. No. Can't. Pick D. Uh, L. There you go. A. A manner of speaking. E. Dialect. Yes, that's correct. Now, let me give you a little clue here. Uh, when you have an A and a C, don't pick yeah. the A and the C because one's going to go back in the shuffle. Wait for two more letters to oh, come up. See? Okay, here we go. All right, third word, eight letters. All right. Some people like olives in theirs. Some people like olives in theirs. Ready? Yeah. Go. R. Uh, A. Some people like olives. B. S. C. H. Some people like olives in theirs. Oh. Orchard. Yes. Uh, all right. One of those times when you should have picked a vowel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last word, nine letters. People do it with a passion. Hmm. People do it with a passion. Ready? All right. Go. N. M. People do it with a passion. Y. N. O. People do it with a passion. E. Who? Oh. Yeah. Honeymoon. Yeah. You're right. getting the hang of it now. 41.2. See if that holds up. You never know. I've seen him go up to 60 seconds before, and a lot of those weren't that easy, especially without the first letter done. We'll take a break, come back, and see uh, who our next contestant does, and who they are, and how they do. We'll do it. <laughs> He's got, uh, what, $500 from over? 1500 Oh, 1500 Thank you very much. I don't read well. Let me try those, will you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have two new players. Uh, 
two new hosts, I should say, and uh, Charlie's going to introduce you. Thank you. Jamie was a chinchilla droppings pan cleaner. <laughs> Bill was a butcher. The host of the new Double Up, Jamie Farr. And the host of Car Charts, Bill Lafferty. Whoa! I couldn't even begin to follow all that. What was that about? A chinchilla dropping, dropping pan, cleaner. pan cleaner. Yeah, I worked in a chinchilla farm. Did and that's really? what I cleaned the dropping pan. Oh, yeah. that's for, yeah, when they uh, yeah, that's drop right. stuff. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it'll drop There's only on one you. way to go with that. Show. It was, uh, <laughs> was piecework. You used to work with a tweezer and a bucket. It was kind of, <laughs> just, there you go, two and three. I don't know. <laughs> Who won the toss? Get me out of this. Uh, I, I did. I won, I won the toss. I won the toss. I won the toss. Would you guys like to toss a coin? Okay, right. go, go ahead. Yeah, toss go, go, you toss it again. All right, go ahead. ready? Yeah. Call it. Tails. Uh, I'm sorry, Jamie. Oh, it's tough. Really. <laughs> All right, Bill, let's I go to the board. Building on the letter I. Nine letters in the word. The clue is they bite the hand that feeds them. They bite the hand. This is just chinchilla joke. They bite the hand that feeds them. They bite the hand that feeds them. Any idea? Uh, agent. No. Uh, I'll take one, and I'll take, uh, five. If you don't do that a little faster, we're going to be in the days of our lives. I need the gig, Chuck. Just work with me. Agent G. <laughs> <laughs> they bite the hand of A. 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 They bite the hand of B. Ooh. Ah, uh, they bite the hand of... I'll take the G, please. Oh, stop her over to you, Jamie. They bite the hand that feeds them. Okay. Oh, I get to take. Uh, oh, you uh, betcha. Take a couple of tiles. Yeah. He acts like he doesn't know. He's, you good. You can He's won three days room. in a row. Yeah. Not bad at all. I just need one. No, you need two. I do need two. All right. You got an A Here. and an A. Let's see. Yeah. You got an A and an N. Which yeah. would you like? Give me. Uh, give me an N. All right. And there it is. Yeah. Bite. They bite the hand that feeds them. Yeah. I'm gonna need the A, Chuck. All right. Nothing right, do I get to take two more tiles? Sure, take two more. Gee, what do you think of Thank that? Thank you very you're much. Smart guy. Thank you. <laughs> two more tiles. You sitting over there, you dumb. I'm hoping you're going to work this out for me. <laughs> Have an S and a B. Hey, I'm going to take the S because I know I'm safe. It's yeah, you're yeah. definitely <laughs> safe with that. It's worth $500. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. bite the hand that feeds them. Jamie, any idea? Bite. Bite. bite the hand. Bite the hand. Oh, you're no, gone. Take a B. Take, take a, a B. That's got to go up for no, it is. No, no, they bite the hand that feeds them. That works. Oh, 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 do I get to do this now? Sure, you can. Hannibal. That's exactly You're right. right. Hannibal. I know I'm right. What do you mean I'm right? I wanted right. to reinforce the good work. Okay, Bill. Yeah, we're Building on the letter S and cannibals. Five letters in the word. The clue is guys often take them out at night. Nice often. Give you $500 if you can tell me what it is right now. Guys right. often take them out at night. I'm going for dentures. <laughs> no, you're not. I was going for dentures. It didn't mean it was right. I was just taking a shot here. Take here's two. a three, and here's a five. E and an A. E and an A. I'll take the E, please. Guys, take them out at night. I'll uh, take the A, please. Guys, take them out at night. I'll go for four, and I'll go for seven. Oh, no, I have a chance here. He's got you have a G. Which would you like? I'll take uh, the G, please. Okay, that's a stop or so. You, Jamie, guys, take them out at night. Do I get a letter? Sure, take a letter. Do your best. Because we're running out. Do your yeah. best. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I and a T. A T. <laughs> Which would you like? Oh, I. Oh, do I. Uh, you pick, wait, a wait, pick a letter. Pick a letter. You're not pick a letter. Pick a letter. I'll take the T. Are you? You pick the T. Yeah, I got this. One. Guys, you take them out at night. I have it. Tell Thanks. me. Okay, good. Thanks. He's talking to his buzzer or anything. It's two to nothing. Two to nothing, You're doing Bill. real well, Bill. You know, you can wear on a person's personality, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> We've run out of time. We've uh, run out of time? Fortunately, We're going to play everybody. this in speed word. Bill, it's time for you to come back. It's time okay. for, I haven't gotten one. Well, that's what I mean. It's time for you to come back. One. All right, guys. Okay. Put your hand on your buzzer. <laughs> I'll put my hand on my buzzer if you don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the letters in place one at a time. I'm not we won't give you the last letter. And here we go. Building on the letter A and dates, nine letters in the word. The clue is, it can be fixed. It can be fixed. Ready? Okay. Go. Okay. It can be fixed. It can be fixed. It can be fixed. It can be fixed. Bill. Horse race. Yes. You have stopped, right? Two to one. Very good. Building on the letter S in horse race. Five letters in the word. The clue is, sometimes even bankers bounce them. Sometimes even bankers bounce them. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Go. Jamie. Balls. Balls. That's exactly right. That's what to do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
And before you know it, look, you're out. I got one. That's when you thought you were on a roll. I didn't think you could say bankers on TV. This yeah. is absolutely random. Get them the mic. Hey, I've never heard in my life. We got a good play player for a home viewer there. You got the home viewer. Two people are going to be outside the studio waiting to kick my knees when I get out of here. All right, get your bankers. Who's the lucky person that gets that microwave? No, 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 it's a cassette player. It's a cassette player. Well, they can listen to me apologize. Norma McClure from Garvin, Oklahoma. Garvin, Oklahoma. You want to get that? Come on down, Jamie. We'll see uh, Bill in just a little bit. And he's got his envelope. <laughs> he just died a horrible, miserable death. We're going to come right back to play travel print right after this. Here <laughs> Back to scramble in Chuck Woolery. Okay, we're going to find out which one of these two gentlemen are going to play for that $10,000. They're both playing for 1000 right now. And Tom Kennedy, of course, is with Mildred Lawrence. And uh, 41.2 is the time to beat. Jamie Farr is going to try to beat that time. Who are you playing for? Jamie? Yeah, I'll tell you in a moment. Bill Rafferty <laughs> from San Francisco. <laughs> he needs the Here. money. <laughs> it's Julie E. Talbot from Portland, Maine. All right, Julie's going to get a shot at this money. She's going to win her another uh, $1,000. Uh, you're going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's All what right. stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Good luck, Jamie. Thanks. First word, five letters. It, it can come in sheets. It can come in sheets. Okay. Ready? Yes. Go. T. I. It can come in U. Sheets. S. Music. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. You're doing fine. Awful. Second word, seven letters. I'm beginning to play like Rafferty. <laughs> <laughs> A manner of speaking. Speaking. Ready? All right, yes. Go. D. T. L, a manner of speaking. Dialect. That's correct. The third word has eight letters. Some people like olives in theirs. Some people like olives in theirs. All right, let's go for it. Ready? Yeah. Go. R. A. D. Some people like olives in theirs. H. Uh, C. F. H. Uh, oh, some people like yeah, olives. Uh, orchard. Yes, that's right. Sorry, yeah. Boy, that's terrible. Well, it's actually not terrible. It's well, not the same. I almost went for martini no, there. It's, I'm it's, glad it's, that uh, I didn't. Yeah, know. Right. I may need one after I say it. <laughs> Nine letters in this last word. You have 13.2 seconds. Mm -hmm. Some people do it with a passion. Passion. Ready to go? Yeah. Go. N. M. Why? Some people do it with a passion. O. N. E. Some people do it with a passion. Yeah, uh, H. Honeymoon. Five tenths of a second. Five tenths of a second. That's great. Way to go. Five tenths of a second. Five tenths of a second. Yeah, that's real. Oh, real close. Congratulations. Well, the legend has a throw in a fall of a fall. It's not a fall, it's a fall. Well, anyway, Tom, nobody's going to get 1,500. She can't be too upset with that. And obviously, you put your best foot forward. Five tenths of a second time, that's your beat five. And uh, Jamie, you're going to come back and try for that uh, ruling. Thank you. Uh, see if you really can win that. Okay? We'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I got it. Way to go, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Jamie, you're going to be the lucky one. Jamie, you're going to be the Back to today's winner, Jamie Farr. All right, thank you, Charlie. Jamie Farr is a good player. Boy, you play everything, too. Thank Super you. I, I hope I do play, as well uh, as, uh, as you did yeah. when you played this I was real around. lucky. I really was. Uh, Julie Talbot is his uh, home viewer that he's playing for. He already has 1,500 for it. Uh, this is uh, 10 seconds on the clock. Words in under 10 seconds. And, of course, then your player gets $10,000. I'd be happy to provide I'd, that for Julie. I know you would. Well, let's see how we do. Hmm. Yeah, you can do this. You I can? can? You can do this. You can do this. Piling isn't in it? No, piling is not in it. Okay. <laughs> First word has six letters. They, they often feel the pinch. They often feel the pinch. Ready? Yes. Go. K. T. They often feel the pinch. E. 
Pete, yes. Okay, you're ahead. 5.1 just barely. Okay. We're going to get this a little quicker. I almost said priors. Uh, you can do yeah, this. All right. I know um, you can do this. With your background. Uh, okay. The <laughs> business that you're in. All right. Seven letters. Cain was one. Cain was one, and in my business, I'm supposed to know what this is? Ready? Ready? Yes. Go. Kate. Tennessee. You got it! All right! All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. I, was, I did everything to play Orson Welles. <laughs> I'm thinking of Cain and Abel. I know, I know. That's what normally I was beginning to play this game with Okay, Bill Julie, Rafferty. tell me you have $11,500, and you can thank Jamie Farr for that. We enjoyed having you all with us today. Join us again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on down, Jamie. I was... I was... Show hosts play Scrabble. And one of them is an eight-letter word. The clue is he's been known to press his luck. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flurry. Uh, thank you, Charlie Tuna. And I'd like to welcome everybody to Scrabble. We've got a special week going on this week. We've had more fun, had a great time. Some of your favorite hosts are here to play with us this week, and Charlie's going to introduce two of them to you right now. John's a proud daddy, and so is Jamie, the host of Hollywood Squares, John Davidson, and the host of Double Up, Jamie Farr. <laughs> Oh, this is great! Do you notice how Ashley Marie, Ashley Marie has my nose? Do you understand John, that? John, you, you notice I how I have say. Dave's nose? <laughs> John looks, uh, she looks a lot like you, John. I hope she's my good luck charm. And she wants to talk in the mic. I have not won a game yet this week, and Ashley yeah. Marie is going to be my good luck charm. What a cutie. You Gosh, she is How about pretty. Marie there all during... No, my wife Rhonda is here. I'm going to put her off stage. How I was going to say, me too, because we don't have enough newspapers for both of these. <laughs> this is a baby also. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. Hey, your your, yours go. looks just like you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know yeah, that. Kind of... We both have fleas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Dave. Go get him, Dave. Come on, Dave. Uh, Dave will find go a place Dave. over there. My dog, Dave. That is your dog, Dave. <laughs> I know. Now, listen, Dave. here's what we did. We asked our viewers to send in postcards, and uh, names were drawn at random by NBC Compliance and Practices. Now, they've kept these names secret, and each of you uh, has an envelope in front of you. You guys are going to open those a little bit later and find out who won, okay? Whichever wins, that's who it's going to go to. Right at home there. Okay. Take a look. We're going to play Scrabble. Who won the toss back, Steve? Uh, I forgot. I think you did. I think I did. Okay, yes, John I did. did. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. And a chance to bonus worth $10,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter A, eight letters in the word. And the clue is some guys have an old useless one hanging around. Wait, wait, read it clearly, John. Come on, John. There's a lot at stake here. Oh, no. You just let oh. Lucky Rafferty is in here. Some guys have an old useless one hanging around. Useless. <laughs> when you think you know the word, help, hit yeah. your buzzer and Did don't you say forget some the pick old blue. guy, some old guy, or just sunny guy? No, just some guys some have guy. an old oh, useless old guy, one I would hanging younger. around. If you're through fooling around, Chuck, well, I'll I'm take doing the, the best 10. I can. <laughs> and I will take the 9. A and an L. I like the L, please, Chuck. Five hundred dollars, John. Think about this now. Some guys have an old useless one hanging around. Uh, uh, I'll use the other A. You have Chuck. one. Yes, I would like it. Some guys have an old useless one hanging around. Uh, hanging around. Hanging. Hanging. Uh. No. Uh, I'll take the eight and the seven. I'm going right down the list here. A C and a D. D is for Davidson and good luck. I'll use the D. Hit it. Some guys have an old useless one hanging around. John. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll try, try the C, C Chuck. John, some, some guys have an old useless one oh, hanging please, around. Uh, can I? Uh, oh, calendar. That's right. It's calendar. Yes. That's one. One. Okay, one. Jamie. Back to the board. Here we go. Building on the letter E in calendar, six letters in the word, and the clue is kids sometimes take one in the bathtub. Jamie. Sometimes take one in the bathtub. Well, I know John knows this, so I better take some tile here okay. and get some Three, letters because I'm going to need lots of help. F and an L. Which would you like to try? Uh, let me try the 
L. No, nope, let's stop. It's over to you, John. Kids sometimes take one in the bathtub. Uh, I will choose the letter. I'll take eight. F and an I. Can I try this without choosing either one of those no, two stoppers? No, you must take one of the letters. Must take one of the stoppers. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll try uh, the F. That's a stopper. Oh, good. See, you, I, oh, this is great. See, I thought I was right. I just yes. didn't know the spelling and, of it. And this it, is it, wonderful. Well, well, oh, good. This is only great. one stopper yeah. left. Jamie, don't worry. Trying to get right. some money. All right. I don't care. I'm. I've got this. D and an I. Yes. I'll take the D. Well, of course you will. And. I'll take the R. Good. Do take two more that? tiles. And I'll take two more tiles. I don't even have to look at the word. What do you think of that? What were the tiles? I don't even care. I'm going to give you the word. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got to use one of the tiles. I'll use one of the tiles. Use one of the letters. I'll use the U. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Tell me what it I'm, is. Yeah, it's Ducky. That's right. It I is do ducky. it all along. <laughs> I thought it was I was hoping you to hit that C. That with a Y at yeah. the end. That was so See, easy. See, you had that I. All I you had to do is take the I. I should get it. the baby questions. You had yeah. the dog. I am. Well, here we go. I had the dog. Well, we haven't got time. All right, we're going to be in speed word. You all know the rules. Hands on your buzzers. Yes. Don't answer till I say go now. All right, here we go. Building on the letter K and Ducky, eight letters in the word. The clue is it can be a ball and chain. It can be a ball and chain. Ready? Necklace. Oh, I knew that too. He got it Excuse right. Excuse me. It may not be right, and you can't answer till I say go. It can be a ball and chain. Ready? Go. Okay. Jamie. I got it. Necklace. <laughs> Necklace. I said it first before. I said it first. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. But you I, can't. I, the first thing I said, John, was you can't answer till I say go. Well, I wasn't listening to you. Wait a minute, let's be fair. Right. I'm going to give you the word and play you even. How's that? Give him that. Maybe you can't give do it that. Maybe him. the show won't let you. <laughs> give it to him. Give it to give him, it him and I'll him. play him even. John's now too. Now you can't do Wait, that. You're not, I knew that. I don't That's want I pity okay. anyway. Let's go. It makes me look like a great guy. <laughs> let's go on, you guys. Building now a you know what I feel like necklace. Like Six letters in the word. The clue is it's the latest in news reporting. Ready? Go. If you want to give him the word, don't answer. Got it. Tell me. Update. That's right. It's the latest news report. It's all tied up. Here we go. Building on the letter U and update. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is some people do business over it. Some people do business over it. This is for the game. Ready? Go. Some people do business over it. Jamie. Counter. Counter is exactly right. Got you. You are doing so well, John. You really were. I never win. We got a code phone. This person didn't go away empty handed. What is it? Wanna know what it is? Yeah. This person is so lucky to have me as And the first time you won 1500 bucks, that's most anybody. Joseph Chrisloff Jr. of Middleport, Pennsylvania. Yeah. All right. Code of phone for them. We'll see John later. And Jamie, if you want to get down and join me, he's got his envelope. Got 500 for that. Ooh. He was. One, two, three, four. $500. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Lorre. All right, I have the very capable Mark Summers standing next to me here. He uh, hosts Double Dare on uh, Nickelodeon, as a matter of fact, and he does very well, and he's going to take my place, and he can do it. Good Thank luck. you, Chuck. Good luck to you as well. Okay, Jamie just won $1,000 in our crossword, and you're about to establish a sprint time for our home viewer. Why don't we find out who that home viewer is, Jamie? All right. Love to, Mark. Uh, Hilda Grubb from Bloomington, Indiana. All right, near my hometown of Indianapolis. Okay, you're going to establish a time, Jamie. The winner of the next crossword will come up here and try to beat that time. Remember, it's four words. Got to hit that plunger. All these letters are good. There are no stoppers. Here we go. First word has five letters. A watermark. A watermark. Ready? Okay. Go. T. -A -T. Yes, Spitz. Very good. The Spitz is amazing. 1.8 seconds, second word. Six letters in the word. They have their ups and downs. They have their ups and downs. Ready? Yes, go. go. T. They have their ups and downs. S. They have their ups and downs. K. C. They have their Stocks. ups. Yay, way to go. Oh, I gotta... <laughs> 9.4 seconds, terrific time. Moving on to our third word, eight letters in the word. It can go to your head. It can go to your head. Ready? Yes. Go. B. It can go to your head. M. 
Oh. It can go to your head. Oh. I uh, eat. R. It can go to your head. Yes. Uh, oh, sombrero. Oh, 10 second penalty. All right. You uh, have to say the word uh, within the time limit, so yeah. let's start the clock again. Is it ready? Not, okay, it's, you can't use I foreign can't, words. I okay. can't tell you yeah. anything more than All that. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. Go. It can go to your head. Uh, oh. It can go yeah. to your head. Sombrero. That's right. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay. All right. Still a good time. 32.7 seconds. Last word. Nine letters in the word. Sometimes they're screaming. Sometimes they're screaming. Ready? Yes. Go. E. Sometimes they're screaming. D. L. Sometimes they're screaming. A. I. Sometimes they're screaming. Headlines. Headlines is right. Okay, 43.1 seconds. Could be a good time. We're going to come back and see how Chuck Worley does right after this break. so far for Hilda Grubb in Bloomington, Indiana, and uh, we're going to see you in just a little bit. All right, thank, thank you. you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Peter is terrible. Chuck <laughs> is great. <laughs> All right, let's meet the two new hosts, Charlie. Peter started out in the mailroom of a major studio. Chuck was once a wine cellar. The host of Press Your Luck, Peter Tamarkin. And the host of Scrabble, Chuck Winnery. <laughs> I want to know about the wine cellar. How many could they sell? We'll get into that in a second. Actually, a cellar. I just I, I he wasn't sold a it. huge seller. He was a sold wine, wine, Peter. Yeah, he didn't it. open me up and have a drink. <laughs> Where did you start off? Uh, oh, the studio, I. Peter? They're talking to me over here. You're the champ. That's no, right. No. What studio were you in the mailroom? Uh, Fox, 20th Century Fox. I just, in fact, got a call from them yesterday offering me the same position. <laughs> well, good luck. All right. And uh, how long did you sell wine, Chuck? I sold wine for about uh, a year. Was it fun? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, who won the toss backstage? I Chuck. guess I did again. Yeah, you did. Okay. Well, let's get started. Let's go to the board. We're going to be building on the letter O, nine letters in the word. The clue is where you hear about babies, cookies, honey, and sugar. Where you hear about babies, cookies, honey, and sugar. That's it. Well, I, I don't know. I'm like Karnak. Really? Take a couple of tiles. <laughs> One and four. Have an L and a Y. Try where the you y. hear about babies, cookies, honey, and sugar. Let me try the L. Where you hear about babies, cookies, honey, and sugar. All right, worth $500 if you can tell me the answer, Chuck. Where you hear about babies, cookies, honey, and sugar. That can't be right. Take a guess? No. All right, two more tiles. No, I can't be right. Six and a nine. Have an O and a W where you hear about babies, cookies, honey, and sugar. Well, let me try the O. Yes. I think the W is a stopper, but I don't know whether this is right. It's not lollipop, is it? No, lollipop is incorrect. Goes over to you, Peter. Hollywood. Hollywood. All right, you got it. We got in there somewhere. Hollywood is the answer. Lollipop. All right. You got one in there. I didn't got my stones mixed up there. All right, one for you, Peter. Nothing for you, just Chuck. Thank you so much. we'll move on to that. We're building on the letter D in Hollywood. Five letters in the word. The clue is the style to which Queen Elizabeth has become accustomed. The style to which Queen Elizabeth has become accustomed. Well, gee, I don't know. Two and a five. A W and an H. Try the H. Stopper goes over to you, Peter. <laughs> All right, I pick a tile then, right? You do yes. pick a tile. I do pick a tile. He's pick the a host, Chuck. No, I forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Seven. All right, we have a W and we have a D now. I hope the W The style to which work. Queen Elizabeth I'm going to try the W <laughs> just in spite of you. Okay. Give me the W. Oh, did oh great. Oh. Style to which Queen Elizabeth has become accustomed. Well, I don't want to say this, but... Yes. Dowdy? You are right. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh! Oh! All right. I that want my sounds, mommy. That means that we're out of time in this game, and we're going to have to play the rest of it in speed word. Put your hands on your buzzers. We'll Very put the letters in place one at a time. Okay, I'm going to back Can off. I give you the last letter, gentlemen? <laughs> Building on the letter O in Dowdy, eight letters in the word. The clue is... Some people are moved to do it. Some people are moved to do it. Ready? Go. Some people are moved to do it. Chuck, relocate. Very good. That is the answer. Coming back. Five hundred dollars. All right, you got oh, it. I got money. Money. That's Ooh, one. Like. Two. Three. Four. Ooh, five. This is good. That's good. good. Money there for the person you're playing at home. Now we're building on the letter R and relocate.
six letters in the word, the clue is, he was always right. He was always right. Ready? Go. He was always right. He was always... Peter Wilbur. Wilbur is the answer, and you have the game. Congratulations, Peter, and Chuck, you have won $500 in bonus money for your home player, plus a terrific code of phone. I want to open up your envelope, and we'll find out who that is. And I lost to a good Florida guy. I'm not talking to her. Mrs. Jacqueline... Uh, McCovlick, 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 and she's from Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, got $500 and a code of phone. And a code of phone, which is not bad. You'll be back in just a few moments. Peter, come on down here and bring your envelope with you. You have $500 so far, going for more money. And we're going to be right back to play Scrabble Sprint right after this. Yeah, yeah you're right. Back to Scrabble and today's loser, Chuck Willery. The nice thing about it is I lose the game, but I get my job back. So <laughs> this is real acting now, trying to be nice to this guy. Well, he won. He was good. He did very well. Jamie Farr is playing for Hilda Grubb, and he has a thousand dollars for her so far. He's established a time of forty-three point one. I think he wears dresses, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Forty-three point one. This may be a shoe in. You never know. Peter Tamarkin has five hundred dollars. They're playing for a thousand now. And the chance to play for that ten thousand bonus, which Jamie, I might mention, has already won once. And uh, but who are you going to play for? Well, we're gonna, uh, this is actually, we're playing for charity. No, we're not. Come well, on, says, who is this? That's Bill Rafferty. No, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, that is charity. Janie Al Britton from Aurora, Colorado. Very good, yes. Key country, very good. Okay, okay. We'll be playing for Janie. Same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No gotcha. stoppers in any of these words. Right. Boy, am I going to screw you up. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chat. First word, five letters. A watermark. A watermark. Ready? Yeah. Go. T. P. The watermark. Yes. Uh, sit. Bot. Oh, no, no. Ten second penalty. Ten second. Let's continue. Let's continue, though. You haven't got the last letter yet, so let's continue. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's all right. See, going crazy over there. I'm going to slap. I'll, I don't usually hit women, but I'll hit him. Let's go on. Let's continue. A watermark. Ready? Yeah. Go. Ah. Uh, Bits. Yes. Okay. That's what I said. You didn't understand. Didn't cost you that much. It didn't cost you that much. Sorry. Uh, six letters for the next word. They have their ups and downs. Ready? Yeah. Ups and downs. Okay. Go. S. T. K. They have their ups and downs. C. Stocks. Yes. The third word. You still have twenty point three seconds. The third word. Eight letters. It can go to your head. It can go to your head. <laughs> it almost did. It took yeah, a while. It takes a while to get up there. Wake up. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go. B. S. No, no, no. No. Oh. I make up letters. Uh, S. It can go to your head. Uh, e. Uh, Quickly. Sobriety. Oh. No. No. I, come up I got all upset. Wait. Don't click on me, Chuck. Wait a minute. I'm out of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still not finished. You have a 1.4 seconds. Oh, left. I know what it is, too. Well, tell me. Sombrero. That's right. Okay, right. now. I knew that. Now, you have 1.4 seconds left for this last word. So you have to get, you're probably going to have to get it right off the blue. No sweat, 4. Chuck. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Nine letters. Sometimes they're screaming. I don't want to encourage you, but you'll never get it. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. I'm going to deck you, too. <laughs> Are you ready? So, what is it again? You'll, you'll never get... No, pardon me. You'll so, never get this. Sometimes they're screaming. Sometimes they are screaming. Yes. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. L. Congratulations, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> uh, screaming, me, me, me. I'm going to Deadline. Deadline. Cool. Well, still, you won how much? Five hundred dollars for Jane Britton? Not bad. No, that's not bad. She's not great. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Farr is going to come back for the ten thousand. Uh, Hilda Grubb has two thousand dollars. We'll be back to see if we can win it right after this. Oh, you got. Now, back 
to today's winner, Janie Farr. The incredible Janie Farr. $2,000 he's made for Hilda Grubb already, so she ought to really be happy. You got a chance to make $10,000 for her now. Love to do that. You've done this once already. You, you can so do it have again. you. We're the only two that seem to do this. Well, right? maybe this uh, is Chuck? magic. Let's see yeah. if you can do it again. Okay, 10 seconds on the clock, two words. All right. Okay, you can do this. Ready? Yes. Six letters. Humpbacks. Humpbacks. Ready? Yes. Go. M. Camel. Yes! Very good. Very good. I was afraid you were going to think of whales and all that kind of stuff. No, if Rafferty were here, he would have said dromedary. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Very good. You've got 9.5 seconds. Now, without really joking around, okay. this is a lot of money for her. Uh, 9.5 seconds, uh, plenty of time. Okay. okay. Seven letters. He's the voice of experience. He's the voice of experience. All Ready? Right. Yes. Go. Hey. D. He's the voice of experience. R. N. He's the voice of experience. T. Uh, oh. Veteran. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh you I just got missed it. it. Oh, you I'm just sorry. Yeah. No, you just missed it. Once it's I down keep to triple doing zero. That, Boy, don't that I? was so close. Sorry, Hilda. You, if you'd have gotten that T, you'd have yeah. been closer and gotten vet. That would have done it for you. Well, uh, Hilda, you got $2,000, even though you didn't get the 10000 So, well, thanks for chumming. <laughs> we'll see. They're coming at it. They're coming at it. Some members of our studio audience and some home viewer participants will receive Codafone's 3530 electronic bulletin board answering device, an 8410 feature phone with automatic dialing of up to 32 pre-programmed numbers, furnished by Codafone. And now, professional salon nails you can do at home. New Lee Sculptured Nails. Quick, easy, permanent-like salon nails. New Lee Sculptured Nails. Plus, Hoover's cordless wet-and-dry handbag. Picks up both wet-and-dry spills and is easy to clean. Hoover keeps making it better. And new Scratch Guard bath and kitchen cleaner. Scratch Guard cleans and shines household services without scratching. New from Turtle Wax. Plus, whenever you get snack hungry, Little Debbie has a snack for you. Delicious, individually wrapped and economical. Available in multi-packs. Also convenient single packs. And Ambush, the fragrance wraps a woman in a sparkling aura. Ambush by Dana. A very special fragrance. Plus, new Jolly Time microwave popcorn gives you 30% more popcorn than before. And the improved larger bag pops in all microwaves. Enjoy the great taste of Jolly Time popcorn tonight. Due to technical errors, a celebrity's tile selection and a home viewer reveal were recreated, a sprit round replaced, and the program edited. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. You at home could win more than $10,000 this week as your favorite game show hosts play Scrabble. And one of them is an eight-letter word. The clue is, his show was a blockbuster. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Cutch Woolery. Oh, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble. It's a great week this week. We've had a lot of fun. We're going to continue to have fun, I know, today. We have all your favorite hosts here. They've been playing with us all week, and Charlie's going to introduce the first two right now. I can't talk. Jamie was once in Army-Navy surplus. Tom was once one of Louisville's finest grass cutters. The host of the new Double Up, Jamie Farr, and the host of Name That Tune, Tom Kennedy. All right. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Chuck. It's nice to have you here, Jamie. Thank you, Chuck. He's played very well all week. Tom. Oh, he's dynamite. He's hot, isn't he? He's played well. But I'm after him. Yes. Well, and you've he's been up the Scrabble Sprint a couple of times. I get up there and then I collapse. I, but it's not very. Today. It, 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 it gives me, thing. I mean, after doing this thing four years, it gives me a lot of respect for a our A great deal of heartburn. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for both, uh, both of you for being here. And uh, we asked, by the way, our viewers to send in... Uh, Postcards and names were drawn at random by NBC Compliances and Practices. Now they have uh, held the names in secret, and you're going to find out who they are as these folks win right here. And as they win, we'll open them up and let you know if you won or not. And that's the way we're going to do it. Who won the toss backstage? I did. Okay, let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble Sprint. They'll have a chance at the bonus. We're uh, playing that bonus worth ten thousand dollars today. Take a look at the board right. as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter I, Tom. All right. Eight letters in this first word, and the clue is they're often told to turn the other cheek. 
Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. They're often told to turn the other cheek. Oh, I saw I draw. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what it is. That's all right. I shall proceed to play your game. Yeah, I'll take number one. Those little naps do me a lot of good. I don't know about you. Uh, okay, I'll take number five. Have an O and an E. I would like to see the O, please. Well, that's first stopper, but you Thank never know. That may work much. to your advantage, Tom. We'll see. Uh, okay, Jamie, over to you. They often turn. I get to take a tile, right? They're often, often told to turn the other turn cheek with an E and a S. Cheek. They're often told. Which would you like? Turn. I'll, I'll take the S because that's a plural. That gets okay, a safe and, they, and that's worth five hundred dollars, and probably no better off than you were. The other cheek. Okay, I guess I'll have to take the E. Okay. Yeah. They're often told to turn the other cheek. Okay. okay. I'm going to have to take. Two tiles. All righty. Well, these guys are real okay. thinkers, aren't oh, they? Right. I mean, gee. <laughs> and you did say and that. a yeah. T. Six, six, yeah, that was with a T. Yes. Which would you like? That was with a T. Uh, I'm going to take the one with the T. Good. For thinkers. Oh, I got They're it. often told to turn the other cheek. Uh, no? No. Nope, try the end? I'll have to take the end, yeah. Okay. That's the one that will go. No. They're often told to turn the other the cheek other four in a row. Cheek. Take a couple more tiles? Yes, I'm going to have to. Let's see. Got a two. Turn the other and cheek. And a seven. seven. S or a P, which would you like? Uh, I, I have to take one. Yes, you I'll must take, take a one. P. All right. People take P's on this show <laughs> quite often, as a matter of fact. Right. They're <laughs> often told yeah. to turn the other cheek. May I, may I press my buzzer, please? Oh, you please? bet. Press it. Since I took the P, I, mean, I can take... press my oh, buzzer. Please. <laughs> it's for patience. Yes, that's right. Okay, Tom. Yeah. Here we go again. Building on the letter A in patience, seven letters in the word. The clue is, it's okay for a woman to touch her husband's. I'm glad you guys get such a big kick out of this. <laughs> it's okay for a woman to touch her husband. You can only Tom. get by with this stuff on the daytime well, show. I, that's you know, the that's true, I know. I got it, Tom. <laughs> Go ahead and take, take a couple, a couple of tiles, tiles, Tom. We can sit here and think all day. There's number three and there's number uh, nine. <laughs> Tom gets mentally locked in. Yeah. T and an I, which would you like? Alpha pocket. I would like to take the T, please. No, sir. I'm sorry. Let's see if I haven't got it, time. Tom. <laughs> it's okay for a woman to touch her husband's Jamie. Uh, take a her tile? husband's Jamie? I'm going to take a tile. <laughs> <laughs> he has the dirtiest, nicest laugh I've ever heard of him or am I? Uh, okay, I'm going to take the... Uh, the he couldn't possibly have picked two stoppers in a row. I'm going to take the I. One for five hundred dollars. Uh, it's okay for a woman to touch her husband's. I'll take the end. <laughs> it's okay for a woman to touch her husband's. husband's. Couple more tiles. Yeah, I okay. have to take two more. Husband's uh, five. Yeah, and yeah, a one. one. Okay, got a C and an S. Which would you like to try? Husband's. Well, I'll take the S because that's the plural oh. one. First position. Oh, on the wait word. a minute. It's okay for a woman to touch her husband's. Her husband's, uh, uh, Quickly. I have to take the, uh, I'm going to take go the right, C? yeah, I have to take the C and go. No, that's gone, you're yeah, right. Okay, that, Tom, it's yeah. over to you. I take two more. There's only one stopper left. You're in good shape. All right, yeah. I'll take a two and a four. Have an A, and you have an S. All right, let me try the S, please. It's okay for a woman to touch her husband's. I, I have no idea, so well, I'll take, take the, the A. You have to take the A if you don't uh -huh. know. Yeah. And that's a stopper. Ooh, that's now, a do you stopper. know what it is, Jamie? Because you uh, can answer if you'd uh, like. Or you can play no, speed. No, I, I don't. I, Hands I on don't your buzzers. We'll put is. the letters in yeah. place one at a time. Don't answer till I say go. Here we go. It's okay for a woman to touch her husband's. Ready? Go. Yes. Savings. Savings. That's uh. exactly right. Yes. Well, you just yeah. mind takes a hike on you there, and there's not much you can do about it. All right, we're going to be building on the letter G. We're going to stay in speed word and finish this round since we're a little short on time. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is the night shift. The Where? night shift. Oh, G. The night, the night shift. Ready? Go. The night shift. Go ahead, Tom. Negligee. That's exactly oh, right. That boy. Thomas. All right, Tom's trying to tie it up. Jamie's Whoa. going for the game, building on the letter E and negligee. Five letters in the word, and the clue is some guys will let them off the hook. Some guys will let them off the hook. Ready? Go. Some guys will let them...
Jamie. Perch. That's exactly right. Very nicely done. That was hard. Yeah. I thought that was tough. I thought that was a tough one. My fans. Well, there they are. That's Davidson, all right. Rafferty, Tom, and Rafferty. Tom, who are you playing for? We have a clock radio TV for this person. Clock radio it is. TV, Chuck, goes to Mrs. Mark E. Daub of Chattanooga, Tennessee. All right, and she's got Sorry, a clock Daub. radio TV. Sorry. Thanks, Tom, very much. We'll be back to you Thanks. in just a moment. All Jamie, right. if you'll come uh, down and join me. Get him, Jamie. Uh, right. He's going to bring his envelope. Play. Okay, Jamie has $1,000 already. Oh, let's find out who you want. Oh, for, yes. Okay? I know it won't be that certain person. We've said his name several times. This is nice, simple name. Barbara Bell from R Wichita Falls, Texas. All right, so Barbara's got $1,000, and he's going to set a time and uh, try to make another 1000 The winner of the next crossword will come up here and try to beat that time. Play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Okay, good luck, Jamie. You the play this good, well. right? Yeah, you play this well, too. Thank you, Chick. First word, five letters. It's not always within your reach. It's not always within your reach. Ready? Yes. Go. H. F. L. E. It's not always within your reach. Uh, F. Shelf. Yes. It's tough about that first Yeah, letter. it is, yeah. yeah. Second word, six it. letters. They have a famous queen. They have a famous queen. Ready? Yes, go. Go. Yes. A. T. They have a famous queen. R. H. They have a famous queen. Art. Yes. Not looking. Well, that H just kind of popped up there looking. last. Okay. Third word, eight letters. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize this was love connection. Love con connection, eight letters. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. M. A. Love connection. Yeah. Married. That will. There you go. 19 seconds, you're doing great. Last word, nine letters. They get all fired up. They get all fired up. Ready? Yes. Go. B. C. They get all fired up. A. B. They get all fired up. Barbecue. There you go, 26.5. That's yes. good time. Thank you. That's a real good Thank time. Thank you for keeping me. Even with hearts and, uh, hearts and shelf. Yeah. yeah. All right, 26.5 time to beat. We'll be back to see if someone can beat that right after this. Stay with I'm going to bet you $1 that you go into the speed round meeting. With the, don't pay, let's, let's, we don't listen to him. Yeah, what? speed round, that you go into the speed round, and a dollar on Rafferty. Oh, okay? good, sure, I'll, right. take, oh, I'll take John. Okay, you got John, no, I'll and take I got a John bucket there going into the speed. I ain't uh, that you, stupid, you I'll hold the money. You haven't watched Rafferty <laughs> play? <laughs> yeah, I played oh, against you. Yes. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, it's Charlie's okay, going to reintroduce our players right now. Charlie? <laughs> Bill was once a stand-up comic. John's an avid scuba diver. The host of Card Sharks, Bill Rafferty. And the host of Hollywood Squares, John Davidson. Oh. I know you were a stand-up yeah. comic at one time, Bill, and you had a good career doing that, too. Uh, yes. And you still uh, do that, don't you? Uh, actually, I do it at, at various benefits, and uh, then I've gotten into uh, car sales recently. And uh, Wait, How's that? Uh, yes. Moving a few down the line there? I'm, I, I'm the guy that usually brings your Hertz car around uh, when you need it at the airport. John, my money's on you. Yeah, right. I, I, I've been here all week long. I haven't won anything. Well, but you know. got the sympathy vote with the baby. You had the baby, had the baby out there. Maybe people didn't You had the baby, that. and Jamie was lucky enough to find a dog with a nose bigger than his, which I thought was wonderful. <laughs> There we go. Building on the letter A. Cut the tension with a knife, Chuck. Eight letters in the word. The clue is... Oh, gee, me. Oh, gee. Uh... Kareem's got a big pair of them. <laughs> <laughs> See? What? I had to say it. No, never mind, Bill. Leave it alone. Okay. Kareem's got a big pair of them. John, it's up to you. What does uh, he have a I big will take pair of? a one... And a 10. What, what would Kareem have a big pair of with an E and an R? Uh, I'll take the E. Lower, John. <laughs> uh, Kareem's got a big pair. Can I go? Yes. Oh, I, don't, I don't have to go. I will no, still have... you can if you want to. I will take the... Well, wait a minute. you got to use the R. No, I, uh, that's why I'd like to, like to use the R, Good. please. It's nice to know that by the end of the week, Chuck doesn't even know how to play the Kareem's show Kareem's got a big pair of them. Speakers. Yes, very oh. nicely done. Go ahead, Bill. You're going to talk your way right out of this and win me a buck. Building on the letter E in sneakers, Bill. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is, he's not all there. He's not all there. <laughs> he's not all there. All right. Uh, let's, uh, 
I like to buy a vowel. Can I no, buy you a vowel? Can. No. no, that's the other show I did. I'll take a five. <laughs> I haven't done that show in six and years. And a one. An, an R. R. And an L. Yeah. Which would you like? Oh, what the L? I'll take have the, the L. L. <laughs> He's not all there. He's not $500 all if you can there. tell me what it is. Uh, not all there. Let's, let's uh, sneak that R in there, would you please? Uh, see, John's gonna get, John was in this business, so he can get this. He's not all there, John. Wait, wait, don't give him clues. <laughs> kind of garbage. this business? Yeah. Oh, go on, John, don't pay any attention to me. I, I, I'll, I'll really I'll, confuse you. I'll take the two and the six. A G. And a G. Thanks so much. Ooh, tough choice, John. I'll take the G. <laughs> Ooh, we're out on a limb $500, here. $500, John, he's, he's not all there. there. I'll play the other G. Okay. $500, he's not all there. Oh, gelding. Well, hit your thing. Yes. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, here. Five. One to you. No. no. <laughs> I have all week. The guy says, hit your thing. It's not all there. And he goes, gelding. I have no idea. <laughs> hey, Bill. Sir? Back to the board. I used to breed horses. I'm ready I know now. that. I'm okay. ready now. Oh, you did, didn't you? Wait, wait. Oh, it's okay. my, this is my thing. This yeah. is where I got speed the Speed word. The speed one word. I've gotten all week is in the speed word. <laughs> speed I'm word. I'm ready, Chuck. Put your hands on your individual oh, My buzzers. hand is on my thing right yes, here. That's right. right. We're going to put the letters in place one at a time. We'll give you the right, last Chuck. letter. Don't say yes. anything. Not a word. I say go. I won't even go. Oh, go. Building on the letter N and gilding. Eight letters in the word. Bill is trying to get in the game. John's going for a win. Yeah, sure. Eight letters in the word. The clue is... She used to be a valley girl. Um, she used to be a valley girl. Ooh, Ready? Okay. Whoop it on me. Go. Go. <laughs> she used to be a valley girl. Uh, sure. Uh, John Stanwick. That's right, Barbara Stanwick. How did you know that? Now look at that. He came from last place to bang, bang, bang. One, oh, two, three. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Hey, Bill. I don't Wake want to up. talk to you, Chuck. Open your dumb envelope. Bill, who, I don't want to who, talk to you. Who won the clock radio TV, Bill? Uh, let's see. Uh, there'll be three people out in the lot looking for me after this game. Uh, Bill Rafferty Bill won Rafferty. the clock. <laughs> Susan Clark from Needham, Massachusetts. All right, Susan. Susan Zephyr. Thank Clark you, Bill, very much. Thanks, Bill. And John, if you'll come Listen, down and I join me, tell please. You I had a bit. <laughs> and they got him again. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got rid of Bill. I protected my dollar, I'll tell you that. We're going to be right back to play Scrabble with John and find out, uh, yes, find out who uh, he's going to be playing for right after this. Stay with us. Come on. Over. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Well, I'm lucky enough to be standing with, uh, in between two of my favorite people. Uh, Jamie Farr has... Uh, oh, thank There's you. a dollar. I also bought an Etzel. So <laughs> give me an idea of how good I am. Jamie Farr has $1,000 for Barbara Bell. He's established an awfully good time, 26.5. And John Davidson's got $1,000. And let's find out who you're going to play for, John. Or All right, who you are I'm going to be for. playing for... Well, you already are. They've won 1000 Karen B. Snyder of Bluefield, West Bluefield, Virginia. Bluefield, West Virginia. That's up toward my part of the country. Yeah, you say that. Everybody. Well, that's because Kentucky and West Virginia are right together. That's why. Okay, Karen, uh, you just threw Karen away. Well, I'm sure John. you have it written down somewhere else. It no, isn't just on that card. Yeah. Karen who? Good. All right. You're going to play the same four <laughs> words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Yes. Okay. I understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm so scared. It's a daydream. No, this, I'll, Hollywood I'll, squares are so much think easier. Think about how fun this is. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Circle gets a square. No, no. First, first word has five letters. Yes. Yeah. It's not always within your reach. It's not always within your reach. Ready? Ready. Go. F. H. Pick them quickly. Yes. It's not always within your reach. L. Shelf. Yes. That's the only thing that will stop the clock. Yes, uh, right. Not my mouth. My mouth won't stop it. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, second word, six letters. They have a famous queen. They have a famous queen. Ready? Ready. Go. S. Uh, a. They have a famous queen. Uh, T. E H. They have a famous queen. Oh, R. They have a famous queen. Uh, hearts? Yes! Queen of hearts. Oh, I was, that's terrible. You get something stuck in your mind and you yeah. can't. I was thinking of Queen Mary and just couldn't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, did it's, you know her? It's hard. Yeah. I did, yes. <laughs> I did know her. Go. Back in 37. Yeah, right. <laughs> did you know? Eight letters. I meant to say, did you know him? That would have been funny. Go. Now listen. Yes. Okay. You can get this one real quickly. I have Love to. Love connection. Love connection. 
Ready? Ready. You only have 5.9 seconds now, John. So you Love have connection. Fishing. Ready? Love connection. Yeah, well, let's wait for the thing. It's not Woolery, right? No. Ready? <laughs> Go. Ready. M. Love connection. R. Love connection. Marriage. Yes, marriage. That's right. 1.8 seconds. 1.8 seconds left. 1.8 seconds. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time getting a letter placed. Well, on don't this put one. me down yet. I haven't done no, it. No, no, I'm just trying to put it in perspective for you so you can do it. Okay? All right. Nine letters. Nine letters. They get all fired up. They get all fired up. I heard you, Chuck. Ready. 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 It's getting a little testy, isn't it? They get it? all fired up. All fired up. Ready? Yes. Go. Uh, B. They get all fired up. Uh, C. Ah, I didn't have time. Buccaneers? No, it was, it was barbecues. It was hard. It was a long yeah, barbecue. Good one. for you, James. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. John, John did a good yeah, job. John did a good job. Had it going. Had it going pretty perfect. good. Well, he's very nice. Hard to do this the first time. He'd done it a few times. So John Karen Snyder's got $1,000. She ought to be happy about that. Uh, Barbara Bell's got $2,000. And uh, Jamie's going to come back for the third time and try to win that $10,000. We'll be back in just a minute. That was good, John. Now, back to today's winner, Jamie Farr. Charlie, Jamie Farr's got another shot at it. Barbara Bell's got $2,000, and he's going to try to make another ten for her. I hope you can do it, Jamie. I'd love to do it, Jack. Yeah, I know you would. Uh, ten seconds on the clock, two words before the ten seconds up, and here we go. All right. Six letters. They can dish it out. They can dish it out. Ready? They can dish it out. Yes. Ready? Go. Out. Ladle. That's exactly right. Very good, Jamie. Thank you. Oh, Jamie, you got a real shot at this one. Oh, please. 8.6 seconds left, okay? Seven letters. A hot spot. A, a hot, hot spot. spot. Ready? Uh, yeah. Go. R. N. A hot spot. E. A hot spot. I. A hot spot. Uh, F. Inferno. Oh, you just missed it. Oh, like a millisecond. Gosh, it could have been more than oh. a fraction of a second, like one tenth. I did that. Oh, twice I, now. I wish you'd have just sorry. hit it yeah, and gone I ahead. Did, and yeah. Go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry Chuck. for uh, Barbara, but sorry, Barbara's Barbara. got two thousand dollars. Come out here and join me, guys, oh, will you, please? <laughs> I, I want to thank Jamie yeah. Farr, yeah. Bill Rafferty, yeah. John, John Davidson, you guys are still, Tom you're still Kennedy, friends. You're still friends. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> Peter Tabarkin, and a special thanks to Mark Summers for helping me out. And uh, doing the show for us. Good luck to you, Mark. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. And I can't tell you how I truly appreciate all of you coming. I've had a great week. It's been a lot of fun for me. I, anytime you want. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you Monday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good some members of our studio audience and home viewer participants will receive Helix's four and a half inch black and white TV clock radio combination. Features AM FM tuner, clock timer, plus under cabinet swivel mounting furnished by Helix. And now professional salon nails. You can do at home. New Lee sculptured nails. Quick, easy, permanent like salon nails. New Lee sculptured nails. Plus Sunny Delight Florida citrus punch brand. Enjoy the juicy taste of orange, tangerine, and lime. Nothing delights you like Sunny Delight. And the Regina electric broom cleaner. Lightweight, easy to use, perfect for those quick cleanups on bare floors and carpets. Plus Northland Fire Logs, the only fire logs with clean burn chimney cleaner. You'll get a warm feeling from Northland Fire Logs. And add a festive touch to every meal with delicious royal gelatin and puddings. Great for salads and desserts. Make every day a royal day. Plus new Jolly Time Microwave Popcorn gives you 30% more popcorn than before. And the improved larger bag pops in all microwaves. Enjoy the great taste of Jolly Time Popcorn tonight. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a red friendly production. On the massive reptile.